Hello everyone, I have some satellite images here. These show the some defences around Belgorod. This was put together by Twitter user Sarah Hansen and is well worth a look. In this image, she has plotted positions used at least once by some defences. Now some of these may be fixed positions, others may be mobile launchers moving from different place to different place depending on needs. And as we will see, that is the case with the next image which we're going to zoom in on. The highlighted battery is shown here, highlighted in blue. We have a closer image, so let's take a look. So in this position we can see equipment under camouflage tops at the top. But most interestingly, in the centre we can see eight TELs, they're the S300 launchers. These are erected and ready for action. Now it is surprising to see these so closer together. Belgorod is fairly safe, but Ukraine has long range drones. Ukraine managed to hit Engels with the 2141 and 2143, so they could potentially hit this base as well. So it is a surprise to see the launchers grouped so closely together. A good drone strike hitting one will take out the ones next to it, maybe even the whole battery. So the uploader says that this battery moves regularly between different positions. So this is likely a deterrent against drones, moving the battery around rather than keeping it in a static position. I've plotted the launch sites here on an easy to understand map. So we can see that the positions are all to the northeast of Belgorod. The S300 is long range, so it could easily cover most of Belgorod district from here. I expect as well as the S300 batteries, there will also be other SAM positions such as Panzer to provide close range, short range air defence. So that's it for this video, a short one but I thought it worth a look. I always enjoy seeing satellite imagery. If you found the video interesting, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everyone.